Hey there, welcome to episode 7 of our exciting journey. So glad to have you on board. And this time we are diving into the world of image manipulation with our incredible and unique tools. Today we will explore a set of tools designed to streamline your creative process. You will learn how to remove backgrounds, crop images, trace them automatically, and even import stunning photos from Unsplash with a single tap. Trust me, you're going to love how these tools make your life so much easier. Now, let's kick things off with a practical guide to designing a poster. Posters are powerful tools for conveying messages. And we'll show you how to use visuals and text to grab the audience's attention. The secret? Don't overload with text. Instead, use punchy lines to summarize your message. For instance, let's imagine we're designing a poster for a jazz festival. We'll need to highlight the main information like the date and support it with a concise text. Here's where the text tool comes in handy. Select T from your toolbar. Simply type 2023. Here I use Abril Fatways as my primary font, but feel free to choose your favorite. Let's adjust the font size to fit the main title and position it for a dynamic composition. But wait, there is more. We will need an image to lead the audience's eyes from the title to the date. That's where Unsplash comes into play. It's a gold mine for stock images. Just search for saxophone and you will find the perfect shot. First up, let's look at how to crop images, a basic but essential tool for any designer. It's super easy. Just double tap on the image and the cropping window pops right up. Feel free to play around and make any adjustments you like. When you're satisfied, just double tap again and the cropping window will disappear. Need to find it again? No problem. Simply head over to the Style tab and look under the image section. It's all right there at your fingertips. Happy cropping! Now, there might be times when cropping is all you need. With this particular image, we need to go a step further. Cropping alone just won't cut it this time. But don't worry, we have something special in our toolbox for this very situation. I want to remove the background. And it's a piece of cake with our AI-powered tool. Just a tap, a quick selection, and boom, the background disappears like magic. Isn't technology wonderful? And that's not all. You can take it one step further with our magical auto trace tool that can transform your images into vector art. Whether you're working with photos, sketches, or illustrations, you can tweak the settings to get the perfect look. Let's dive into what auto trace can do and explore the various options it offers. If you're working with photographs, it's perfect for adding a beautiful watercolor effect to your pictures. You have total control over the complexity, minimum pad size, and can even simplify the whole thing with a single tap. And if you want to keep the source image untouched, that's an option too. Now, if you're into sketching, you will love the contrast feature. It helps you highlight areas that might be lacking in contrast. And there's this cool ignore white option that lets you remove the background, leaving only the lines. It's like a digital eraser specifically for sketches. While your sketch might seem unchanged at first glance, it's now been converted to a vector format, and the background has been removed. This makes it super simple to make any edits you need. Finally, we have the illustration option. Just like the other modes, you will have the full control over adjustments. So play around until it's just right. When you're happy, hit that button and watch your illustration turn into vectors. Jumping back to our poster, we're ready to make some magic happen with one of the auto trace modes. The sketch mode is the way to go here mainly because I'm really liking the shape of our image. I don't want to change much about it. I just want it to be vectorized. So hit that auto trace button and watch as our image transforms into a sleek vector form. Just one more thing left to do here. I want this image to blend with the background seamlessly. To achieve that, we will use these blending modes. Let's take a look at each and every one of them. Starting with darken blending mode. When using this mode, the software simply picks the darker colors from the two layers. In contrast, Multiply intensifies the darkness by multiplying colors of both layers, much like combining two shades of sunglasses. Lighten mode is pretty straightforward. It compares and chooses the lighter shades from both layers. If you're aiming for a brighter effect, the screen blending mode brightens up the image, making colors more vivid. Overlay is like a balanced blend merging the colors of both layers to boost both contrast and vibrancy, while difference and exclusion show the color differences between the layers. The main distinction is that exclusion offers a softer effect with less contrast. 
Hue layer adjusts the base layer to match the hue of the blending layer. Meanwhile, the color mode changes both the hue and saturation based on the blending layer. Luminosity, as the name suggests, focuses on brightness, taking cues from the blending layer. Let's go back to the main canvas and try out what we just learned. For our current project, overlay seems to be the ideal choice. After selecting it, you will notice the image and background blend seamlessly. But we are not done just yet. Our poster still looks a bit flat. How about we add a splash of color? Let's turn that blur purple. Since purple contrasts with red, it really pops. And thanks to the blending mode, it creates this vibrant, almost burned effect. Something you would see in old school analog pictures. And with that final flourish, we've achieved the perfect look. But let's take a moment to see how our poster design will look once it's up on the wall. I hope you enjoyed this insights and had fun along the way. That's a wrap for this episode, but don't go too far. There's more to explore in our next session. Happy designing!